watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Karen Kahn. She's the founder and CEO of iFundWomen, a crowdfunded platform for female entrepreneurs. Where is the lapse in the point at which female entrepreneurs get their funding? Well, we're not getting funding at all. 2% of all venture goes to women. So we're really starting at ground zero. But in terms of the lapse, there's a lapse in sort of the knowledge around how to get funding, and there's been a lapse in the products, the financial services products addressing this need. And there are hundreds of thousands of new businesses being started by women every year in the United States alone. In fact, 1,100 new businesses are started by women in this country every day. There's literally no place for us to go to get startup cash to fund our proof of concepts and our prototypes. There's just a need for it, so we built one. Women can come to I Fund Women for what? To get funding for their startup. So women come to I Fund Women to crowdfund. In addition to crowdfunding, we teach them how to do it. So crowdfunding is a very strange thing to do. It's very, it feel, can feel weird. There's crowdfunding shame. People don't want to ask their friends and family or their network to chip in to fund their startup. People have a lot of shame around it but it actually is super empowering and it's a way for you to go and assess demand for your product before you invest in the supply. It's a way for you to go and pre-sell your product and see if there's a demand for it. So when you flip the script and you really show people why crowdfunding is so powerful and the fact that it's cash at the end of the day and you help them with their scripting, we actually also make their videos for them. We have a video production studio in New York. So we help them make their videos, we help them with their branding, and all of a sudden it takes like the idea of like asking for money and feeling sad and embarrassed about it to empowering. Like I am starting my business, here is my pitch, and I'm gonna go out and get my first customers and first traction for my product through crowdfunding. At the end of this campaign, I'm gonna have cash. Where did this idea come from? It came from the fact this is my second startup. I pivoted from my first, and I spent two years doing all of the things that I just told your audience not to do. I lived that nightmare, and I had to take matters into my own hands. So we did a crowdfunding campaign, and I saw the light, and I was like, why isn't anyone talking about this? Why isn't anyone telling female entrepreneurs that their first step should be crowdfunding for cash? And I started looking for other crowdfunding platforms for women that also had the coaching and the mentoring and the video production and all of the services that we offer in the community to help women win and it didn't exist so we pivoted and we built it and here we are a year later. Do you really think that that's the only route though for female entrepreneurs? I think it's the best first step in the funding journey for female entrepreneurs because again you don't want to max out your credit cards, you do not want to take out a loan, you do not want to waste your life trying to chase an equity round that's never gonna happen. There's no other option. And don't put your own money into your startup. It's just, it's all these, all these things that we women do that are just the wrong first move. So I dogmatically believe that doing a crowdfunding for cash round as your first step to prove market viability for your product is essential.